Hi guys, um, I'm up the mid north coast of New South Wales and we drove my new purchase up as a um, 2012 territory. Now I only bought this car because I need a tow vehicle and I didn't have a tow vehicle since I sold the ute. I only sold the ute because it was LPG and that was giving me the shits. So I didn't pay much for that and it's got a tow bar so now I've got a tow vehicle and I can put shit in the back of it. But we're here because to find these couple of barn finds that a mate have just found and I'm really cranky that he found them and not me. Okay. Yeah, Jagger Drive Club in Australia. Yeah, yeah. So here we are with Ben and I'm really dirty with this man. <laughs> like really dirty. He's found these barn finds before I did. But I mean he's got them and they're absolutely amazing. So we're just going to go inside and have a look at these beautiful cars. First light of day. Well, here's one of them. Oh, there's a motorbike in there too. Wow, mate, she's a barn find. Look at the pigeon poo on it. Get some wider. So, how, how long has this been in here, Ben? Uh, I got parked up, I think, in about 2006. Wow. Something like that. Um, it's funny, the guy that I was talking to when we bought it was a fully grown man, and it's got a baby seat in the back, or a booster seat in the back, that he was sitting in when it got parked in here. Are you kidding me? Yeah, so he literally came He came home. He, he got... So he was five or six. <laughs> yeah, and that's the last time... And now he's 26 or that's something. That's the last time this turned the wheel in anger. So yeah. we got flat tyres on her. And she's got no hubcaps, but it's got the original wheels. Some light going here. So, did you bring a pump? Oh yeah. We've got a oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the owners had a, the compressor here. And yeah, there. Up to the there it is. There. Through oh. hold a bit of air. So a little bit of rust on that front bumper. You know, mate. I think I've got one of them. If you're interested. I've got. I've got one. You've got one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. God, uh, a bit sad, isn't it, really, to see that like that? Uh, it's a bit exciting to it at the same time. Yeah, true, true, you know, mate. The, with a little bit of elbow grease and a bit of yeah, like, it'll yeah. be beautiful. And, and as you said, he drove it in here. Yeah. And he drove it for how many years? Five years, ten, ten years, years before he years, parked yeah. it up. Yeah. Wow. Well, it looks okay in it. For probably 25 year old oil, probably looks okay. Yeah. Brake fluid's right down now because that would probably need to do your brakes. Yeah. Obviously. Needs a new clutch fan. Oh my god, look at that. 2006. But looking at it, Ben, there's no rust in the, in the panels. Is that right? Wow. You lock them. Is that lock will just oh. might be locked. Have a whip. Oh. Varnish. Oh, the stench of a, the stench of a barn fire. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's a job for you. Oh, it's the worst. It's not the worst. Oh, tools. Pair of pants, just in case. Yeah. Got a spare. Pumps are intact. Is that the original spare wheel. The original spare tire. Probably. Yeah, look at that. An old Aquajet. Mm -hmm. Dunlop Aquajet. Look at that. That's the old rubber mm -hmm. corroded That's away. Back bumper looks all right. Yeah, there's certainly no bubbles in it in this thing. I guess be, being a country car. Well, you know where it's been for the last 30 years at least. In here, here, yeah. Can we open her up? Yeah, of course. Now, the big thing about this car, well, the seats are a bit crispy. I just won't sit on them too heavy duty. 
is that gear stick there. She's a manual with overdrive. A rare motor car indeed. And very original. Oh, even the hood lining, headlining's still intact. And the seats are okay. Oh, she's a very original car. Go on the other side and have a look. What's that motorbike? Yeah. Have you been to the uh, motorcycle museum? Not yet, no. It's amazing. Is it really? Yeah, it, it is. I'd love to, I'd love, uh, it's, my, it's my second one. Yeah, it's the largest motorcycle museum in the Southern Hemisphere, yeah. apparently. So let's have a look underneath the carpets. Yeah, original needlepoint carpet. And by the looks of that, she's as dry as a bone. Yeah, she's been protected in here pretty well. Any logbooks? Ooh. There's a diary. And it was on um, Wow, there's even some more seats. Bodywork. Back in '98, had a bit of paintwork done on it. More receipts. Oh, I even had it for sale. Oh no, that might have been just a info sheet. Very good. Okay. So this is one of Ben's finds, but there's another one hiding somewhere, Ben, is there? It's in another property he's got around the corner. Okay. Should we go and have a look at it? Sure. Yep. Original keys. Got a remote. I know it's for. Hopefully. Nothing. Oh, that says XJS, does it? XJ12. <laughs> I've given it away already. <laughs> you have to cut that oh, no. oh no. He's a bunny supporter. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're in another shed and we're going to find another barn find. And this looks even more barny than the other place. That house looks pretty cool and old, doesn't it? Any cars in there, Ben? Yeah. I don't think so. You want to live in there? Stashed in there. No, I haven't been in the house. It would be pretty impressive if we stashed a few cars in there. Uh, what's in there? In... There's some cars in there, I'm sure. There's cars in there. Yes, definitely. What sort of cars? I have no idea. Has it stolen? I have cars on the cover. Okay. And here we go. Oh my god! Look at him! Isn't this a dream come true? This is it? No, no. It's just another one. That's another one, yeah, that's for sale. It is for sale. Oh, yeah. Holy guacamole. <laughs> Look at this. Hasn't got the bird shit on it like the six cylinder. No. Oh. Left hand mirror. How does that? Last registered 2008. Nice oh, locking that fuel cap. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, it's auto. We've got them both locked. They still smell of varnish, so. Chromies. They'll come up nice. Oh, yeah. Wow, what a find. Okay. Oh my god. Let's get some more light on this. Yeah, she hasn't been going for a while. The rats have been in there a bit, I think. Oh, a good nest up the back there, yeah. Hopefully they haven't got too much eaten that too much of that wiring. Oh, mate, did you ever see that video of that series one, that red one that I had when I pulled out the back seat? 
No? Mate, there'd been rats living in that thing for years. It was the most putrid smell. Did you ever get the smell out? No. No. <laughs> no. And, uh, oh, mate, it was really bad. But I didn't know where it was coming from for ages and ages until I lifted up that back seat and I went, oh, <laughs> it's pretty bad. Well, I imagine that engine bay is going to smell exactly the same as a, a pretty substantial looking... Yeah. Here ...where there should be a battery. Yeah, I don't even know if I can put your hand in, in that. Oh, really? Oh, I've been washing the hands up. I've, I've got some sanitizer, don't worry. <laughs> I knew what I was in for. Yeah. <laughs> I'll leave that here. Yeah, yeah, that belongs to him. Oh, it's got a fireball ignition on it. Does it? Yeah. Might even start. <laughs> I just... And look at that. It's got brake fluid in there. Oh, look at that. It just looks pretty tidy too. No, no... I mean, obviously it needs to be all redone, but yeah. it's good to see that nothing's sort of leaking out of it. Body number, car number, can't really work that out. I've ordered a certificate for it, it's all matching. Have you? And, yeah, English delivery car. Is so it? Yeah, both, both of them were, you said. Both of them English cars, yeah. Yeah. So I need a hand to get, well, at least you've got space to get it out. What was behind there, I wonder? The Jensen interceptor. Oh, that gone. Yeah, it's, 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 it's No engine parts. That's not a bad look, is it? No. It's pretty tidy in here, isn't it? One of the best I've seen. Yeah. Because you haven't been in here yet, have oh. you? And the chrome spare. Beautiful. Look at that. It's even got the same Yeah. Well, and that shield clean up. Like this one's a treat. Good. And he said this was going as well? Yeah, drove it in. Oh, it's fully locked. I guess because he's um, it's a bit exposed here, isn't it? Hey, the body condition of the seats is amazing. Uh, they've been it's been retrimmed at some stage. Has the it? Seats, the seats are aren't really good. But they're leather. Yeah, look, I can. I get it from here. Wow, you never know how many kilometres are on these things because of the five digit speedo. But black upholstery, some log books. Wow, series three headrests on it. Original needlepoint carpet. Get out there. Oh, they've been tidied up, but they're in good order. It's... No, she's a treat. She's had a bit of work done on it in the past, hadn't it? It's had a bit of a restoration on yeah, it. I would have thought so. It's been painted in the past. I think it's been painted. Nice paint job. Bit of damage on that door there, but. Yeah, yeah. Nothing a couple of fixes. No. They rebuilt the engine at the same time, eh? Oh. You'd hope, wouldn't you? I do. Does he know? Uh, I didn't ask him. No. He, I, he, he wouldn't have done anything to it. I'm, I'm assuming that he's bored like this. Yeah. She's going to need some love, that is for sure. Yeah. But a special thing when it's... Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's just did a job to build all those carbies too, isn't it? Most underappreciated cars... Jaguars in Series 1, Series 2, yeah. Like, uh, a Series 1 or Series 2, XJ6 or 12, in my opinion, would have to be the most underrated classic cars. Classic cars, they yeah. should they're... be worth three times what they Exactly. Are. Yeah. And I don't... Uh, I, can, I can understand why the V12s don't get so much. Everyone's scared of them. But the six cylinders, you think they're going to be all over, wouldn't they? They drive. They drive oh, so well, man. So per like, superb. They're so beautiful to look at. They've got the most amazing interiors. They drive like a brand new car. Yeah. 
And uh, back in the late 60s, early 70s, mate, they were well advanced for their time with air conditioning and electric windows and, yeah. and independent front and rear suspensions, just double overhead cami motors. Yeah. Let's uh, pump some tyres up now. Okay. Guys, so, guys, we just worked out that he's got another Series 1 Jaguar here. And believe it or not, I used to own this car many, many years ago. I bought it if as a shell. There, yeah, I find... believe that you owned it. <laughs> you probably owned most of these cars. <laughs> oh, it's really embarrassing when you go to a Jag beat and I'm going to my wife. I used to own that. I used to own that. I used to own that. <laughs> so, yeah, so I, I sold this about what, 10, 15 years ago. 15 years, I think. And it had a beautiful full respray on it. He was going to do it up. I don't know if it's got the same owner in it now. But I bought it because it had this really lovely interior. But I kept the interior. And um, sold the car. But no, it's definitely the car that I had. I know it very well. And I've probably still got some old photos of the car. I bought it in Sydney. But so I'm looking now and it's been, it's been sitting for years, the rust is starting to come back in it again. But yeah, amazing what you find. Come to collect my barn finds, I wish. Thank mm -hmm. you.